audio compression techniques, H.264, stuff it all into an MP4 file, and then we can play it back on our plugin, which works on in Unity, Unreal Engine, native on iOS and Android. Um, basically, if you've got a VR headset, our stuff will play on it. If you've got a phone, our stuff will play on it. It works on desktops and mobiles. Um, Magic Leap, HoloLens, whatever you want, we'll cover that. Um, we've, uh, the sort of standard format for our, our captures, we look, based on the, the level of detail and the quality you get, standard format is about 20,000 polygons per person with a 2K texture shared between whoever's in the capture. Um, we can change the mesh resolution or the texture resolution as is needed for your particular um, use case. So if you're streaming live to people's phones, you might want a lower resolution mesh. It doesn't need to be quite so high because the screen's small and you want smaller files for delivery over the air. So we can shrink down the textures and choose a different resolution of the mesh as is required for the particular performance. One of the things we can do with uh, the step before we get to the, the final encoded file is a sequence of OBJs and PNGs. So we can, we've can written some tools that they bring, bring those into Maya, do some mesh editing, track features, export that stuff back out, use it in Unity or Unreal. Um, the, the captures, we do a, a pass conditioning of the normals of the capture so it can relight nicely, so you can fit your capture into the environment you're putting it into in your experience. Uh, you can see here is like a range of different lighting. Um, we've got some tools that let you track objects. This was me actually using a, um, there we go. I was captured holding a tennis racket, just as an experiment to see what would happen. Put a big sword in my hand. Um, <laughs> plus we've also got, uh, for the use of captures and immersive experiences, um, eye contact is super important for a feeling of connection with the capture. So we've written a tool that lets you adjust the gaze of the capture to always look at you when you're wearing your, your VR headset. I can show you some examples of that later. Um, that's the, the sort of show and tell side of things. Let's go have a look at the stage. Again, mind the wires. So here you see our, we've marked out the eight foot circle. Um, and we've got stereo pairs of cameras arranged around on these eight towers. There's a bunch of cameras up above us as well. Um, these little silver boxes are the laser projectors. They'll spray detail out into the scene. Um, we've got some floodlights. These uh, rectangles are IR floodlights we use for lighting the scene, the, the stage when we're calibrating it. Um, like I said, we can bring the towers in closer for a more intimate capture. We end up with a smaller region. If we bring the towers into a three and a half foot volume, you basically get a bust where you're spending all your polygon budget on this much. So you get super high res captures. Uh, and that's our capture stage. When you have a artist, um, you know, potentially maybe afraid that their uh, 3D work is going to be, become a dinosaur, it sounds like there's some incorporating of, you know, working with a 3D artist where you said there's gonna still be some Maya and or you know c4d or something so what would you tell an artist who's in fear of their job or to sell to an artist to work with um microsoft well this is if you think about volumetric video it's just it's like regular video but it's volumetric we're not it's it's about capturing that authentic performance right there's the volumetric video doesn't generally stand up too well to too much editing it doesn't need that what it's about is capturing that authentic performance, that moment, the movement, that fabric, the expressions, the, the, the performance, the behaviors. That stuff is what we capture authentically. So you don't need it. We're not going to put artists out of work with this. This is, this is about capturing that performance, which you can't do any other way. But this may help people choose between CG and maybe live action. That would be another way to sell to a content creator because there's not the rigging factor and the cost of... Yeah, it's a live action. Sure, and it's, it's, you get all that fabric movement for free, you get the micro expressions for free, that all comes as part of it, you don't have to do that work. Mm -hmm. yeah. But yet it still can be a hologram, which is nice. Exactly. As opposed to just on a flatty. And, mm -hmm. yeah. I have a question. Sure. What is the fan for? You might notice it gets a little warm in here. <laughs> <laughs> Lots of lights, um, we shut off the air conditioning to keep it, make it sort of a, more like a soundstage. 
um, so that the audio quality is improved. And um, this is super handy when it gets hot in here. A lot of people will think, oh, I don't have the budget for a place like this. What can you tell people on lower budgets? So we're not a studio, we're not, you know, Warner right. Brothers, we're not. Um, I am not sure how to answer that. There's, there, are, there are alternatives in the market for lower cost um, volumetric capture approaches. Mm -hmm. We've got friends at Scatter who make Death Kit. That's a super approachable medium uh, and system. Um, and there are other companies in the market that, that make capture stages and do captures. We're friends with all of them. There's maybe 50 capture stages, volumetric capture stages in the world. Mm -hmm. right? Very few. Yeah. So it's it's a growing market, um, and you know we're we're here to help everybody. There's uh, you know we've we've done a lot of work in exploring and developing this technology. Um, we've got a super efficient format that's very easy to use. Have you been working with any car companies? Uh, usually first to. Uh... Generally, we we'll work with people rather than vehicles. Yeah, I so. wouldn't be surprised <laughs> though if you get contacted and mm. you know, they want to. We've do I mean, we've we've talked to like. Folk from all sorts of industries about yeah. this. Yeah. yeah, but if they want to do an ad and they've got their actors wanting to do something, mm. I wouldn't be surprised if. Yeah. yeah. Thank you very Thanks. much for your time Thanks. and the tour. Thank you. Yeah, thank Thanks you. For coming. Very much.